Hey guys, that horror critic here, and today we're going to be talking about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre: The Next Generation. It's a 1994 film, directed by Kim Hinkle, produced by Kim Hinkle, and written by Kim Hinkle. Man, Kim Hinkle really made this movie. Um, this movie, uh, it did come out in 1994. A lot of people think it came out in 1997. Um, that's when the theatrical release happened, but uh, the movie is actually done in 1994. But, uh, anyways, alright, a lot of people hate this movie, I know that, and, uh, if you hate this movie, then you're probably not gonna like what I have to say about it, because I actually have to say a lot of positive stuff. See, a lot of people hate movies, certain movies, and if you like those movies, you know, you really wanna, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of stuff that's bad in this movie, right? There's a lot of stuff that's not even entertaining. But then there's a lot of stuff that's really entertaining and really reminds me of the first movie. So, alright. Like I was saying, a lot of people like like certain movies and a lot of people really hate them. More people hate it. Like, there would be a movie, I don't know, let's... Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I guess we'll use that for an example right now. A lot of people hate that movie. I like that movie. I can give reasons why I like it. And, you know, I want to talk about, while most people talk about, man, this movie sucks because blah, blah, blah. I want to talk about, because this movie's good, because blah, blah, blah. So, alright. I think the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation, is good for the first half of the movie, basically. Because, alright, look. We have a movie with a uh, $600,000 budget, which in 1994 was uh, pretty, pretty low. And, uh... The camera quality is is not very high, so it it already in terms of that it kind of feels like the original a little bit, and then you have almost the same kind of plot, which is interesting. I mean, it's definitely different, but I mean, it ends up with the teenagers going to that house, and the first two people are the best parts: that uh, that guy and that chick, and now Leatherface is terrifying for the first like half of the movie where he's actually wearing the male skin mask and the apron like i don't know what it is but he actually he actually seems just like the original leatherface because in the first movie whenever uh he had just killed the three people that went into the house he, he he's freaking out he goes to the window looks around he makes sure that no more people are coming and he's he's actually just sitting there worried you know, he he doesn't know where everyone's coming from. He didn't expect anyone to be in his house like that. And now with this movie, this is the same. He's frightened. Like, whenever he puts the chick in the freezer, she bursts back out. He puts her back in. And he, he's, he screams. He's frightened. And I think that is an interesting, interesting thing. Now, Kim Hinkle, like I said, did most of the work on this movie. And he knew what Leatherface was. I mean, he worked on the first movie. He knew the character. So I think that's why it appeals. I mean, yes. After about, like, any time after the point where he's not in that first outfit he's in is ridiculous. I mean, the only thing holding it up at that point is probably the best actor in the movie, and that'd be Matthew McConaughey. I mean, if you watch the movie, every scene he's in, he puts some kind of charismatic energy into it. And it's really, really entertaining because, you know, at this point, Matthew McConaughey was new. And, uh, you know, he he was a brand new actor and no one knew what his potential was. But he really shows it in this movie. I mean, he's got he's got some kind of insane energy. He's uh, He's always really, really active during the whole movie and it it really uh he's a really good family member in this movie for for leatherface's family so uh he's probably my favorite part of the movie um not too much to say about it after that though um just watch the movie up until the halfway point and i think you'll be pleasantly surprised um okay now honestly <sighs> this might be my favorite sequel to the texas chainsaw massacre i know you might be like what why is this your favorite sequel josh isn't, I don't know, number two or number three, aren't those better than this one? Well, yes and no. See, I, I really enjoy watching this movie. That's pretty much what it is. I mean, I enjoy watching the other two, but this one's just like, you know, pop this sucker in once a month. Man, I'm enjoying this movie. But uh, that is my review of this movie. I would give this movie 
Uh, 3.5 out of 5. Now, I know that seems a little insane, but uh, just bear with me, guys. But uh, thank you for watching. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake review should be up soon. So see you then, guys.